Welcome back, guys. I think at this point, it's time to reveal the master plan because we've only got the very last bit of the distribution infrastructure to put in. And I thought I'd explain to you where this has all been heading because you may have thought that like the way that I've put these lines in is like kind of arbitrary, but actually it's not. It's part of a master strategy, which is going to make us huge amounts of money. Right. So, um, Currently, we've just been dealing with crude oil and fuel, right? And putting these lines in and developing these distribution chains and whatever. They've all been heading out to a specific objective, and that is to hook up to other oil wells. And the placement of the oil wells on this map, like there's, there's three over here. Um, there's one over there that we're actually not going to use. And then there's another one over here, okay? And the way this is going to work... This oil well is going to be supplying uh, Bogner Regis, okay? So that's going to feed down this line, down this fuel line, and we're already set up to transport liquids down this line. That's going to feed directly into the A terminal. This, uh, this oil well here is going to feed into Aspatria, and that's the last leg of the distribution chain we need to put in. Uh, this is going to feed to Aspatria, and then that's going to feed down into the A terminal. And then this one here is going to feed into Tewkesbury, which, of course, then feeds back to the B terminal. And this one here is going to feed Ashby, which feeds back down to the B terminal. So all of our crude oil will be going to the A and the B terminal. Well, what the hell are we going to do with it then? Well, we're going to make plastics. So the way this is going to work... Um, we'll have loads of crude oil here, right? Now, some of it is currently being shipped out to be processed at this, uh, this refinery into fuel. That will come back exactly as it is now. The rest of it is going to be shipped out. I'm, I'm going to put some of the infrastructure in now, I think. So, yeah, go on. Go on. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll have some fun. I, th I think we're okay for cash at this point. So what's going to happen? We're going to have... Not that. No, we're going to have a docks. This is going to be a right-sided docks. Uh, we're going to have another docks in here, probably. Ooh, where, where will you go? Will you go? Will you go in it like anywhere? Oh, come on! Uh, doesn't want to go in. What about if I? What about if I turn you around a little bit? Would you go in then? Turn alignment collision. Oh, oh, okay. So somewhere like that. Now, unfortunately, this is not going to be a particularly elegant solution over here because I think the, the ships are going to be like sailing through the docks and stuff. But, um, but I think we're yeah, I'd like. Shall I put it in? It's only two hundred k. Go on, I'll put it in. I'll put it in. So um, we hook this up to here, and then this is in range um, of this dock. Now the the crude oil is going to be coming down this route into here, so we'll pick that up. Um, it's going to be coming down here. So I need to make sure that it's within range of the train station. So I may, like I said, I may have to move this, but we'll, we'll kind of see. And it, it, it's a small country right back. If I just hook that up, um, let's try and get it to do something a little bit straighter. So I wonder, is, is that in range? Oh, I think it is. Yes, just. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit of luck. Okay, so we're going to have the, all the crude oil coming into here. The crude oil is then going to be shipped from this harbour, or at least half of it, at least half of it is going to be shipped from this harbour out to a harbour, which is going to be about here, right? Because it's going up here. Uh, but you'll be like, ah, you idiot. It needs to be processed into oil. You can't use crude oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But this is, um, this is like a two-step process. So we're going to have a harbour that's down here. Now, the thing is, if I put the harbour like over here, which you might think is a more logical place to put it because it's closer to this. Um, if I put it over here, that wouldn't work because if I try and put a train line from here up to here, right, then you'll see that even at max elevation, it can't get, it can't get up here, right? So what we need to do is have the harbour further over here so that if we have the line going up here like this, 
Oh, it still hasn't reached ground level. Let's try that. Let's try that again. So, where would we have to go out to? Oh, yeah, here we go. Hang on a second. I've come out to like the same place. Anyway, um, so that's why the harbour needs to be kind of over here. So, yeah, so you can see that that's, that's the maximum we can get the thing to come down. So it's got to be got to be over here um, yeah okay so what's gonna happen is so yeah um, I, I you know what I kind of like to do you know what let's do it let's, let's just do it what the hell so let's get rid of this bit of road here and we'll put in um, what am I gonna use am I gonna use a large country road for this or just a medium um, I'm kind of tempted to make because I want to make this like a bit of a a bit of a thing and decorate it up and stuff so, so let's drop you down. That's flat. So let's drop you down like that. This is, the track's actually going to go off over, over here. It's heading to that refinery over there in actual fact. So, probably, probably we want to put this at 90 degrees. So let's, let's put it at 90 degrees. That looks about 90 degrees to me. Yeah, that'll do. Boom. Okay, so that's going to go there, and then we're going to want another station down here. Yeah, I think, I, you know what, if, I, if we align it kind of there-ish. All right, so yeah, we would want a station in probably somewhere about here. So let's see. We're going to have the ship sailing up the coast, coming into the harbour. How about we put it in about there, kind of sort of thing. All right, then we'd want uh, we'd want a nice bit of road. But what I could do, I, I could be a little bit cheeky here. If I put in the second street connection, right, and then flip this round so that it's kind of parallel to that road. I think we want to come around one more. That looks that looks pretty parallel to me. Um, then I could hook that on there, which would work, wouldn't it? That would definitely work. Um, now, if I'm going to do this, if I'm going to put this in, I'm actually going to put it in with six platforms. Because um, I think I'm probably going to end up needing them. All right. So if we put that in like that. Now, what this means is um, I may change the use of these harbors around. I might because I can put a harbor connecting at this end. And I may have the oil coming into here and maybe the plastics going out from there. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't figured this out like 100% yet. So now we should be able to take. Um, if, uh, if, I, well, if I've made that six platforms, I wonder, should I make this six, six platforms? It's probably not going to hurt. If it'll go in. Will you go? Oh, you will. Okay, let's do it. Apply. Really should have sloped that bonehead. Right. And so, so this is just going to come straight out of here. Where are we? And straight into there. And we're going to have a lovely series of tunnels going up here, which I think is actually going to be quite cool. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, do I throw that in? Do I throw that in? Three and a half million. I mean, I probably shouldn't, but apparently I think I'm going to. Uh, all right, so um, that's going to go in. Uh, I'm just wondering if I want to run this out. It's like, because I, I, it would be really nice to have the tunnel entrances kind of lined up and stuff and I'm just wondering if I run a little bit straight out here first yeah you know what let's see if I run a bit of straight track out let's say to about there and flatten that off cool and yes I am looking at this arrow which tells you whether it's up or flat now thank you for the people who told me that because I, I really didn't know that um, yeah, like if we came out to there, 
So then we could have all of our tunnel entrances. I mean, they'll, they'll probably be a little bit weird, but if I play with the terrain a bit, I might be able to get them all in the same place, which would be kind of nice. I think that would look really cool. So let's take it into there and flatten you off. And that is pretty flat. So let's say, yes, we'll take that. Then, and flatten this whole thing, Oops. like this, and, come on, there we go, oh this could, look, this could look really nice, this could look really nice, and bosh, and bosh, Uh, we don't need to come. We don't need to come any further out. That's fine. So now, if I get my old smooth tool out and do a bit of do a bit of smoothing around this area, oh, this could work. <laughs> this could work. And we'd have a nice row of tunnels, all nice and even. That's very cool. I actually want to lift the terrain up a little bit round here. And obviously, um, the I need to have the tunnels maybe a little bit further forward or whatever to uh, avoid the road. But that's how that's going to... So, okay, so enough about that. Enough about I've kind of digressed a little bit. So we're going to hook this up to here. Well, where's it going to go from here? From here, it's going to go to this refinery over here. So the crude gets shipped over here. The crude gets shipped through this station up to here, it gets processed into oil. The oil gets shipped back. So we're running full both ways again. Down here, it gets processed into plastic, comes back down to the harbor, and then it's gonna get shipped off to a goods factory. We're also gonna be um, shipping in logs and creating planks the logs and planks will get shipped off to a goods factory, like, I don't know, maybe this one over here. And the logs, uh, sorry, the planks and the plastic will get turned into goods, which will then get shipped out to one of our two distribution points and get shipped out to all the cities. Hurrah! And then, th now that's where half the plastic is going. Half the plastic is going to be used to make uh, goods. The other half of the plastic will be shipped to machine factories to be turned into machines and we'll be using um, steel to make the machines and tools and then those will get shipped out to our distribution network and get shipped out now if we're shipping um, tools and machines and goods then we're already shipping um, fuel so that only leaves food and construction materials so to the people who've been saying, you know, oh, you know, you've only done one product and you kind of haven't got very far. Actually, with this infrastructure that I've got in place now, we're actually a long way forward. Now, th that's not to say that there isn't a huge amount of work to do putting these other lines in. Yeah, there absolutely is. Um, I, I really want to do this now. And then I want to like dress this up. I want to do a, like a really big, big terminal here. Put in loads of stuff. Anyway, all right, um, how about we actually build something? Well, I suppose we've kind of sort of been building, but how about we um, how about we actually start doing something? And I think, <clears throat> I think um, we need to finish this route up to Aspatria. And I think maybe, maybe, shall I hook it up? Shall I do the first hookup to, uh, to an oil well? Yeah, go on, let's do that. And... Uh, and I think, yeah, you know what? T screw the critics. I'm going to time lapse it.
Okay, all done. The last bit of infrastructure for the distribution network and the first bit of infrastructure for the next phase of our oil empire, which is going to be very, very cool. Now, we're not going to put a train on here yet because we've got to get the whole thing built. We've got to get all the oil wells hooked up. We've got to get all the infrastructure in for shipping the crude oil to all of the uh, refineries uh, like this one up here and then back to the plastics factories and then shipping the plastic to the goods factories. We've got to get the logs to the, uh, to the what are they called, the sawmills and then from the sawmills to the goods factories and then we've got to get the goods shipped onto the network. So there's a huge amount to do before we can actually like Put, like put trains on and and get them running um which is why i needed a ton of cash coming in so that i could build all of that infrastructure um like before before i was able to turn it on so right having done that right let's get um let's get this last line running and i really want to ride this train through the valley i i hope you like this line that i've put in i think it's kind of a cool one so let's um let's get it done and um, now I haven't put I haven't put a depot on here, so I, I thought, how about if we use the Biggleswade depot? Now the only thing is that the way the Biggleswade depot is set up at the moment, we can't put a train on to go in that direction. So how about we just move that around? So let's get rid of that. Get rid of. Oh, I had to borrow a million, by the way. <laughs> Just to finish the signalling. Right, so I think, how about if we get a bit of track. And um, if we run a bit of track out, kind of, sort of like that-ish. Uh, uh, kind of, sort of like that. And then I want to run that back onto there, something like that probably. And then I want to hook this up to there, hook this up to here, and then put in a depot. That's kind of a proper depot for a change. Now, what I was thinking of doing, I mean, what we could do, because of the way that I've set the lines up, um, so that, you know, trains can pass through these stations to get onto the other lines, we could have a central a central depot somewhere, which I know a lot of people would like. So uh, we might do that. And I might do like a, I don't know, like a, might decorate a big depot or something. Well, we'll see. We'll see. So I uh, want a depot on here. I'm just I'm for now I'm just going to use these little ones. I'm not going to put the fancy ones in. That'll be that'll be for later when I get around to like decorating and stuff. So, in you go. So, we want uh we want a line first. Let's get a line. And where are we going to go? We're going to go from Chudley to Aspatria. Bosh. And is the line all incorrectly? Yeah, all my signals done. All set to one way. All right, cool. Um, now, where, where the hell did I put that depot? Oh, here it is. Oh, do, 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 do. Now, this is gonna be TF. Um, this is Aspatria fuel. But of course, all of these fuel lines are gonna change. And they're going to become oil and fuel lines. And we're going to make tons of money. In fact, these, are, these lines are going to be more for delivering the crude than they are for delivering the fuel. The fuel is kind of going to be a bonus. But the, the lines should all be very profitable once we start doing this. It's going to be very cool. All right, so let's do this. Uh, by train, I'm going to go... For Aspatria, I might, uh, I'm kind of tempted to just put, put a PLM on. I'm going to have to borrow some money for a start. Let's, um, let's borrow, I don't know, let's borrow a couple of, an extra couple of mil. 
Let's put... Um, yeah, let's just put a PLM on for now with like six trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you go on to the Aspatria fuel line. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I don't know about you. I'm looking forward to this. Go. Oh, oh before oh, before we crank that up, a couple of things I want to do. Right. A um, little bit of housekeeping that I need to do. Now, down here... Uh, well, let's do this first. So, first of all, because I've been looking at this, and the, the Wellington Freight Station, which is this one down here, we've got, uh, we've got quite a lot of fuel building up for Biggles, Wade, and Eastbourne. And I looked at this earlier... And that's a train going out. That's going to Eastbourne. That's a train going out to Biggleswade. And the next train's coming in. That is um, another train. That's coming in from, uh, from Biggleswade. The next Eastbourne train coming in is like way out here. So I think we need to uh, pop a couple of trains on here to, to start shifting this fuel because we're getting a lot of fuel down here so that means i need to borrow even more money uh so borrow i don't know let's borrow like that should be enough <laughs> god really eating into the loads right um what are we running on here we're running a3 slash fives with 10 wagons one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah so let's get a3 slash 5 by 10 wagons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And yeah, the, so these trains have a top speed of 62. These tank wagons only have a top speed of 50. That's why we're being limited to 50, as people have pointed out in the comments. So thank you for that. Um, oh, oh, man. These are 4 million each. Oh, my God. Uh Okay, well, let's borrow the remaining, clone that. Wow, we can only just afford to do that. Uh, okay, so this one goes on to Eastbourne. Actually, I should have put the Biggleswade one on first. Because there's a Biggleswade one closer. Yeah, I should have done that. Um, all right, let's... Open the doors so I can see inside. Click on that train. We're changing you. You're going to go on the Biggleswade. And you are going to go on the Eastbourne line. Right. Okay, that's that. I also want to um, like get rid of some boats. Because we've got like way too many. So uh, let's, let's get rid of one of you. So you can go to the depot and be sold over here. Um, these two, wait, let's just, so you're going in, you're coming out. We've got these two queued up waiting. Um, if I bring up the line, it's kind of easier to see. So just pop that line down there. Um, we'll keep Aspatria fuel up for now. So we've got. We've got a ship coming in here and a ship coming in here. So we just don't want anything kind of waiting. So that one's going that one's going out. That one's going into that dock. So then we've got two more coming in. So that is all working at that end. That's nice and smooth. At the other end, how are we? We've got two ships going in. Okay, that one is about to stop. In fact, it's, yeah, it's down to four miles an hour. Where's the next one on that line is there. The next one on this line is there, I think. Yeah, that's the rear of the boat. So those two come in. So I think we want to get rid of uh, this one. Yeah, we want to get rid of that one. So you, you're not carrying any fuel, so that's good. So, go to the depot and be sold. Alrighty, so that's that. Also, if we come over here. Um, bum, 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 bum. So, you're, you two are pulling out. We've got, let's see, you're pulling out. 
you're pulling in so that's a that's a big coming out big coming in yeah that's another big so i'm thinking maybe I don't know. These are all these are all be B ones, I think. Oh no, that's a B. That's a B one. So we've got, and that's a B one, right? So we've got a couple of B ones and a B. So we've got one of each waiting. We've got one B going in there. That B is going to go into there. So I think we want to get rid of that one. Yeah. So you go to the depot and be sold. Where's the next one coming in on that line? Let's bring up the B line so we can actually see. Uh, did it do, uh, did it do, here we go. So, if I've sold that one, the next one, it's, it's really difficult to see this though because the lines kind of merge there and it's like, well, which one's which? Um, and I think the next one is this one. So yeah, we've got one coming in there. So that's fine. And that one's coming in on this one. So yeah, that looks good at that end now, with that one sold. What about the other end? Have we got a bit of a glit at the other end? So we've got two going in there, and I think we've got these two waiting. Yep, kind of looks that way. Now, I should have kept the line up. Ah, bonehead. Let's keep the line up. Yeah, so where are the next two? So we've got one there. Where's the next one on this line? That's, that's going out. Um, I think it's that one and that one are the next two coming in. So yeah, I think we want to get rid of these two. Yeah, that one's just about to stop. Okay, let's get rid of these two. So you go to the depot and be sold. You go to the depot and be sold. Right, that's our ship housekeeping taken care of. And hopefully, Wellington Freight Station taken care of. Let's go over here. So, the Biggles Wade one has come in, picked up 50 fuel, good. The Eastbourne one is coming in to pick up 50 fuel, good. So that gives us a little bit of space, and then there's another big old wave train coming down. So, yeah, we should be fine. And I don't think there's a ship coming in. No, there's no ships headed in, so we should be fine. And an auto save. Right, now let's go find that um, Aspatria train. Right, let's get rid of that, get rid of that. Right, so where are we? We're coming up. Oh, yeah, we're, we're coming into the, the Chudley Valley. Oh, so we're going to have the whole... Uh, see, this is the best bit of the map for me. Coming into the Chudley Valley, and then we've got the full ride up to Aspatria. Now, oh, this is going to be sweet. And I'm really torn about whether we do this in first person or third person. Oh, see the thing with third person is that you can actually look around a bit, whereas in first person you can only look like dead ahead. Maybe we'll do both at some point. I know. I, I'm, in fact, I'm pretty sure we will, because it's so cool. So you know what? Let's do. Um, should we do a third? Should we do a third person? Go on, we'll do a third person. Might even do a mix, because <laughs> it's cool to switch to first person to go through the tunnels. And this is a, I can't wait to do it, like decorate this and put some trees in and make it all nice. Maybe put some extra buildings in around it. But it's, it's a sweet line with all the tunnels and the bridges and. And I'm going to chill out and we're going to do this at normal speed. I'm not going to speed this one up. It's too good. It's a, it's just too good. And here we go, emerging into the Chudley Valley. You know what? Screw it. We're going to stay in first person, I think. Unless there's anything I really, really want to look at. I 
I may have to drop the sides down just a little bit so we get to see a little bit more of the valley. Because you kind of want to see what's behind this hill. And by the time you come out of this, then you, in first person you can't see what's over there. Same with this side. You just want this just to be a little bit lower, so just so that you can see a bit more. So here we are, coming down to Chudley. Here's Chudley Station. Oh, signals are green all the way. Oh, look, there's a car. We've got cars. Like a, looks like a Daimler or something like that. Right, now we are on to the proper Aspatria line. And look at it, it's beautiful, isn't it? Nice little troll over the bridge. Oh, I've got to put, I've got to put my trees on these mountains and break up those snow lines. See, these look really good. And we're into a... I think this is... The, yeah, it's a fairly short tunnel. There's light at the end of the tunnel already. Shame the signals are kind of buried in the walls. <laughs> I should maybe try and find some better signals. Ones that don't actually stick into the walls. We're out of the tunnel and then we've got a little bridge. I think I did a reasonable job on this line. Like making it like relatively realistic in terms of trying to conform to the terrain and making it interesting and over there. Oh, look. There's one of our passenger trains going the other side of the valley. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, like, man. When, when we get all this other stuff going on, there's going to be trains all over the place. And the, the focus is going to shift. The focus is going to shift away from um, the profitability and the, um, the, the like efficiency side of things. Much, much more to the decoration and just setting up lines which are just really enjoyable to ride on. I want to do a lot more of this. See, th this needs to be like drop down so when you emerge from that you can actually see into the distance I mean there's not a lot to see over there but what there is you want to be able to see and finally we arrive into Aspatria station and you know what I'm, I'm actually going to crank it up to medium speed so that we flip around and we're going to go back because I want to see what it looks like going the other way so like when we emerge from this tunnel what does it look like because the valley should look Fairly spectacular. Here we go. Oh, look at that. That's very, very cool. Yeah, we need, oh, definitely need some work on this. 
I'm already having ideas of like, like, like buildings to put around, like little churches and hotels and things like that around the place to decorate it all. Should look pretty cool coming out of this tunnel as well. Yes. Wait till the town grows up a bit. My God, it's going to look pretty staggering with that background. Alrighty, well, there you go. That's a ride on the Aspatria line. There and back. Man, spoiling ourselves. Spoiling ourselves. Right all the way there and back. There's that car coming back. He's just been chasing us. It's, you know what it is? This is the train driver's wife. He's like, you've forgotten your lunch. He's been driving up and down this road all day trying to catch him and give him his lunch. That's what it is. Yeah, see, this. remember when we came through this tunnel and we we we're kind of down here and we couldn't see any of this side of the valley? That needs to just come down just a little bit so that we can actually see into that valley. It'll make the view so much better. Um, right, well, we want to start saving a bit of money now. So why don't we put you onto, let's see, Ask Battery of Fuel... Uh, and we'll wait for a full load. Cool. Now, having put that on, uh, we'll have increased our demand. So, let's see. Aspatria. Aspatria is like an extra 83. So, we should be up to... I'm thinking we'd be up to, like, what, around the 600 level? Let's have a look. A uh, hey, oil refinery. What's our demand? Is it really that high? Oh, we're over 700. All righty. It just keeps getting better and better. All right, guys, we'll leave it there for this episode because we're, um, I would think we're probably running on quite a bit. But uh, there you go. There's the vision for the future. Uh, a sweet ride. Some, some really cool stuff to look forward to in terms of the views and the decoration and all that kind of stuff. And massive infrastructure to pro project to put in. This is just going to get better and better. How's the cash? We'll have a final look at the cash. So let's see. Uh, well, we're already making a stack of... We're already, we've already made 18 million this year. And it's only September. Good Lord. All right. The future's so bright, I've got to wear shades. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.